<laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> you okay? Look at it! Look at that potato! She was just the happiest little girl all the time. <laughs> Lisey! She was full of light and happiness and everyone that met her was lit up by her. Today would have been Lisey Salisbury's sixth birthday. But three weeks ago, she lost her life after a fire broke out at the family's home in Pembrokeshire. Lisey had decided that they were going to have a sister sleepover, as they did very often. Uh, Abby tucked her into bed for the night, uh, put some telly on, and went downstairs to make her some brioche in the oven just to warm them up for her. And the fire alarm was so sensitive in our house that even if you just put a piece of toast in the toaster, it, it would go off, you know, no burning needed, it would just go off for everything. And because of Lisey's autism, she couldn't stand loud noises, it really upset her. And uh, as usual, the alarm went off after about five minutes of being downstairs, uh, Abby being downstairs. They leapt out of bed, ran downstairs and started pushing on the button to try and get it to turn off before it could upset Lisey too much. Uh, but this time, no matter how many times I pushed the button, the alarm wouldn't turn off. And I said to Abby, have you burned something? And she said, no, no, there's nothing burning. Lisey started really screaming upstairs, like really screaming. Abby ran up the stairs, and by the time she got to the top of the stairs, she screamed, oh my God, the room is on fire. And I turned my head to the staircase and there was smoke coming down the stairs and I just thought, oh my God, 